What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 17th Machine Learning with Python and Scikit-Learn tutorial video. Uh, in this video we're just going to be uh, continuing along here. So in the last video I showed you guys how to use Quandl to get data. And in this video we're going to actually compile a very large, well not very large, but large-ish uh, data set of our stocks, their prices and all that. So we can use that uh, with our data and our algorithm and get a little more useful results from it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just comment this stuff, well, at least these two lines out. So Alt-3 for anyone who's curious, and then also Alt-4 will uncomment if you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm going to specify my path again, just uh, because you and I might have different paths. So mine are in my X files slash backup slash intra quarter like that. So that's the path to my uh, intra quarter data data set there. So anyways, now uh, define key stats and we're going to say the df equals pd dot data frame because right here what we're doing basically is we're going to pull out uh, just the stock information. So really this isn't even key stats. Uh, we should probably call this like, I don't know, stock prices. It really does not matter uh, what you call this. We're only going to use this once. So anyway, now we're going to say uh, stats path. So this is kind of similar to what we had before, but we're just going to do path uh, plus uh, key stats. And then we're going to say the stock list equals, and then that same kind of thing before, so the zeroth element of x for x in os.walk stats path. Okay? So that's our stock list. And then we're going to, um, I guess we'll use ticker list. Um, we might actually need the ticker list. I don't, I don't really sure we need ticker list in this. Uh, script. So anyways, uh, now we'll do for each dir in stock list uh, one colon. What do we want to do? Uh, well, what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to use this ticker thing just because I want to have it printing out as it's as it's working. Uh, so ticker equals each dir dot split and we're going to split by those double, uh, actually, sorry, it's a double backslash. So someone brought up as well, I know this is a bit late, but someone brought up that, you know, if you're doing this on a Mac, for example, you might not have those double slashes. The reason why I have those double slashes is because Windows likes to use backslashes in its paths, and a backslash is an escape character. So what we have to do is escape the escape character to actually be a slash. So keep that in mind. So because if we do a backslash of quotes, you can see what's happened. Um, we're still in quotation. So keep that in mind. Backslashes escape things, so we do backslash, backslash. Anyways, Easter.split, and then uh, it's the first if element there. So then we're going to go ahead and just print out the ticker. And now we're going to say the name, and this will be like the name that we use with Quandle. So the name is going to be, if you recall, capital wiki slash, and then plus the ticker.upper. Up upper. There we go. Uh, so that will be the actual name. So for example, as Apple will be wiki slash capital A-A-P-L. Uh, then we're going to say what our data is. So data is going to equal quandle.get. And what do we want to get? Well, we want to get the name, right? Because it, we're basically copying this line here. So get the name. Uh, then we're going to add a trim underscore. And actually, let's just, uh, let's just copy all of this. I don't see any point for me to rewrite all this. Uh, so name, paste, and then I'll just uh, do this. Okay, so the start 2000, end 2014, good. So that gets our data. Then uh, we're going to say the data, and then ticker dot upper that equals, so what we're, basically what we're doing is we're creating a new column to this data set. So we're seeing, saying this data frame, and then we're creating a new column in that data frame, and we're labeling that column ticker.upper. Because if you remember the output here, it was just open, high, low, close, adjusted, open, adjusted, high, adjusted, low, adjusted, close, volume, adjusted, volume. So if you take that into consideration, um, 
we can't just like store the vo the the prices because we'd have no idea what company those were those prices were in relation to. So we're making a new column, giving it the title of the ticker, and then we're saying that that column is identical to the data column of ticker dot upper. Um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's equal to, equal to the data column of a d j uh, period close. So that just makes it the adjusted close column period, and it's labeling it as the stocks ticker. Then we're going to say the a data frame equals, and we're going to concat to this pre-made data frame that we like made up here, and we're going to concatenate, which is just adding to it. And but what it's doing is, if you remember, append added to the end, where a concatenate will allow us to add new columns to that data frame. So we're going to say df equals pd.concat, and we're going to concat um, the first column will be our original data frame, and then the next, or the first columns, and then the next will be data, and then uh, ticker.upper. So it'll just be whatever that new column was, basically. Um, and then comma and then axes equals one and so what that's going to do is just each time we get the stock we get the adjusted close and we're going to take that and just continuously concatenate to the I guess you know concatenate columns basically to our data frame so um, I guess what we'll go ahead and do is we'll call a try here we'll do this and then we'll call an exception. So accept exception as E, and then print the string version of E. And actually, let's go ahead and print. Uh, it will do the string version of E, but now that this website went down on me, normally it's been really um, reliable. So I'm a little worried. But maybe what you might want to do is like this. So we can just like copy this, print the string E. And then maybe just run it one more time. Try accept exception as E. Me and my exceptions is logic. I love it. You hate it. That's fine. Tab that over. And then again, we'll print string E. Uh, so this will at least run through two times. And in fact, let's go ahead and add a time.sleep 10 seconds. So if for whatever reason, uh, that pull fails, it will wait 10 seconds and try again. Now, gee, Harrison, why not just put it on an infinite loop and every time it fails, it tries again. That way you don't have to do this. Well, the problem is some of these stocks, first of all, may not be available in the data set. Also, they might not just might not exist or there might be some other error that we're not accounting for. So we're going to try twice. If that fails, forget it. So uh, we've got stock prices. We try it twice. At the end of the day, we have this data frame. Uh, so now what we do is we come down here and then we just do a df.2 underscore CSV. And we're going to call this CSV stock prices dot CSV. Now, um, I already have one. So let me go and save a quick backup before I run this. Feel free to run it. It's a long operation probably. So you can run yours hopefully in, um, in It'll probably take a few minutes, maybe even up to like 10 minutes. I forget how long it took me uh, to do it. Stock prices CSV underscore backup. Okay, so let me go ahead and save this, run it. Um, we are just printing ticker, right? We're not printing anything else absurd, I don't think. Right. Okay. Did it just finish? <laughs> Is that what I just saw? Hopefully not. I. Is it running? Usually if you see two lines, that's bad news. Oh, okay, I know what we've done. <laughs> uh, okay, so we gotta call the function to run. So stock prices, let's try that again. Idiot. I don't think it, I still don't think it ran. Yeah, it's, we're getting empty here um, for our stock list. Um, why are you doing this? <sighs> okay, fine. Uh, let me, let's look up a, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, 
Let's look real quickly at. Why is it throwing that air? I just don't understand. So this is one of our previous scripts. I just want to see if I if I wrote the code somewhat differently or something. Okay, so now apparently it's it's running. What is the friggin' difference? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die here. Okay, so yeah. So in in this first one, we didn't have the slash. That was the problem. Okay. So, there we go. Save that. Uh, let's come to our script that's running here. So we've got a, 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 Apple, ABV, whatever ABC is. Okay, so that's running. Um, I guess we'll just leave it running for now. Uh, I'm not going to make everyone sit through this one. Um, looks like we're, we're at least not hitting errors yet. If there happens to be some sort of other error, i.e. the, the stocks underscore CSV file does not work for whatever reason, um, we'll, we'll address that in the next video. So if you guys have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, the subscriptions, and the donations. And until next time.